Hey coders, before we begin this episode, I want to take a brief minute and thank everyone who watches and supports the videos on this channel. It is extremely humbling and inspires me to make more and better quality episodes. Now in order to produce the highest quality episodes which you deserve, we need to have exceptional audio and in the past couple months both I and a couple of my subscribers have noticed that the current audio could be improved. After all, I use my own personal laptop microphone to record these videos. So that is why starting today I am creating a fundraiser on GoFundMe to help me purchase this Yeti microphone on the left hand side of the screen. This microphone goes for around $138 and I believe through the collective contributions of us all, we can work together to get this on the channel. As an added bonus, I will give a special shout out to anyone who donates on the next episode in which I use this mic. Now the second thing I want to share is my vision to turn this YouTube channel into something greater than simply video tutorials alone. And the way I'm going to begin doing this is through a Patreon page. Now if you're unfamiliar with Patreon, this is a way for you, the viewer, to show your love and support and give back through monthly contributions, which will go directly to making higher quality episodes on this channel. Not only that, but once you make your first contribution, you'll be known as a patron and have access to exclusive membership perks ranging anywhere from special shoutouts in upcoming videos to live one-on-one -on -one coding sessions with me through Zoom or Skype. If you're interested in contributing to either or both of these causes, I've added the links to these sites in the description below. Alright, that's enough talk on these topics for now. Let's jump on over to the main video in which we'll get to learn something new in the Google Cloud platform today. Hey coders and welcome to the newest season of our Google Cloud Platform course. In this playlist we're going to be covering the App Engine starting out with this introductory episode where we'll be starting up and creating our own App Engine application. Let's first define what App Engine is and what it is used for. So App Engine is a fully managed platform as a service for deploying websites and APIs among other applications. So let's actually sit down and dissect that a little more closely. It says a fully managed platform as a service. So when you think about all the things necessary in order for you to build, deploy, run, and manage your applications on the internet, you may think of things such as servers and all the hardware and software necessary in order for those servers to run. You may think of, of operating systems and routing tables, and you may even think of a nice admin dashboard in order for you to observe how many requests you are getting per day. All of those things, plus a, a, a lot more, are considered collectively as a platform. And as the name implies, Google Cloud will offer this platform as a service. And not only will they offer and provide this platform, they will also fully manage this platform for you, which is pretty incredible if you think about it, that means all you need to do is just develop your application, code it in your favorite runtime, whether it is uh, Node.js or Python or Go, they have a lot of different containers for you, and all you need to do is sit down and focus on the code, and then once you push it to App Engine, Google Cloud will fully manage everything else, uh, and they will, they will guarantee things such as uptime, and, and they'll guarantee things such as scaling your application from zero servers up to thousands and thousands of servers. Google Cloud will fully manage all of those things for you. And so all you need to do is just focus on writing your code. Okay, so also if we continue, it says App Engine is for deploying websites and APIs. So when I first started with App Engine, I used App Engine exclusively for deploying my websites, which is a perfectly fine thing to do with App Engine but it's not restricted to just websites. You can deploy literally any application such as your backend API. So if you were developing say a mobile application, you could write your server side API and then deploy to App Engine for your mobile application. There are a lot of other use cases for uh, App Engine, but I'm not going to cover them all now just for the sake of time, but we'll be covering them in future episodes on this course. 
So the top topic for today is just going to be creating an app engine application. And then in later episodes, we'll dive into deeper concepts such as what everything means on your app engine dashboard. So let's, let's jump over into our live demonstration of creating an app engine application. Here in my Google Cloud console, you can see that I have changed my project. So now my project ID says Axial Theater 304520. And I'll be using this project for the remainder of this playlist and most probably for the remainder of this course. So in order to create an app engine application underneath this project, I'm going to need to access the app engine dashboard. And the way to do that is you can either go up here into the search bar and type in app engine and then select it right here, or because App Engine is such a popular service, you can also go into this navigation menu, and then the first thing underneath Compute is App Engine. So I'm going to click on that right now, and if this is your first time creating an App Engine application, you're going to be presented with this interface right here. It's going to say, Welcome to App Engine, build scalable apps in any language on Google's infrastructure. You'll have some reference material right here, which I would highly recommend you read. And if you are looking to create an application, all you need to do is select this button right here that says create application. So I'm going to click that right now. And then I'm going to be presented with this prompt right here. It says, select your region. So region is going to be wherever your, where do you want your code, your application to be housed? Again, region is a collection of data centers. Where do you want your application to be housed on these data centers? So my, recommend, my recommendation would be to identify where your target audience is going to be and then selecting a region that is within the vicinity of that target audience. So if you think most of your audience is going to be Americans, I would select a region that is in America, say, say US East 4. If most of your ta target audience is going to be in India, then maybe I would select Asia South 1. And that doesn't mean that people, that only people in India will be able to access it, only that the people in India will have a faster response time when accessing your application. So if you were to select, say, a region in India right here, the people in America would have to wait a few more seconds in latency in order to access all the resources on these data centers in this region. So I'm going to actually select one in America. I will say US East one, and I believe that is in South Carolina. So that's pretty good for me. And then I'm going to hit create app. So just like that, as you can see right now, it is creating an application. And just like that, that's all you need in order to get started. So here it says get started and then so there's some more optional steps that we could do, but we're actually gonna do these steps in the next video when we actually push our code to App Engine. So right now I'm just going to say cancel. So right now it says your App Engine application has been created. It's as easy as that. Just select a region and then your App Engine has been, or your App Engine application has been created. All right, guys, I hope you enjoyed that video and learned something. In the next video, we're go actually going to push some code to application and host a live website on App, on App Engine. If you enjoyed this video and learned something from it, don't forget to hit the like and subscribe buttons. And also, if you will, check out the Patreon page and also the GoFundMe page for the new microphone that I am trying to get. Alright guys, I'll see you in the very next episode.